you think it's going to go then? Fantastic, I think it's really going to go well. There's been a lot of work that's been put into it. We've got a lot of good team of people working behind this, so I'm pretty sure we're going to go off to a splendid night. It's good to have nerves, it means you want to do well. I'm uh, Liam Pussy, I'm the head boy of Broadgreen International School. The DV in Broadgreen is really taken off, and I think the DV can be used as an excellent selling point. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a lot of proud parents and hopefully a lot of proud recipients of the awards. It takes a lot of hard work to uh, get these awards, whether it be bronze, silver or gold. So hopefully people feel a sense of achievement tonight and it's a pleasure to be here and be asked to, to pre present the awards. about a year ago and we made the previous awards. This is the second year we've had this uh, award ceremony. I'm Hannah Ray, now I'm Heather Chadwick. Merseyside Police are one of only two police forces in the country that can actually make these awards. It's built my confidence up in your experience. So we're proud of that and glad to see that it's going so strong and I think this year we've got 120 awards so it's growing every year. I would recommend it to all teenagers and stuff like that because it's a great thing to do. You get pushed to your limits a bit, it makes you more fit. It looks good on your CVs. Well, what we'll do, I think, is to see how well this has worked here. I think in the ideal world, we'd like to spread it right across Merseyside. Um, we've got some more schools officers going into our schools. So we've already got 36 police officers in our dedicated to the schools across Merseyside. Another six are going in this year. Uh, my name's Ian Henderson. I'm a member of staff at Cotswold Outdoor in the uh, city centre of Liverpool. And uh, we have a partner with uh, the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. I think it's a fantastic award. It's been the Duke of Edinburgh started it many years ago now. This wonderful work. And it works. It's a simple idea. It gives people, young people training, gives them some life skills, and hopefully it helps them develop for the future. An adopted Liverpoolian. I can see that uh, you know, good things happen here. I'd like to introduce our first guest speaker. He's come hundreds of miles to join us. My first time here. I hope it won't be the last. Let's give a big round, warm applause for Mr. Peter Westgar. I'm the chief executive of the Duke of Edinburgh's award nationally. I'm based at our headquarters in, in Windsor. As you've heard, I'm from the, uh, the Geordie end of the royal family. And I'm delighted to be here tonight to see the, the success of this uh, absolutely amazing uh, project that's going on here, the collaboration between the school and obviously the police and that success is going to be seen by everybody tonight in the presentations in the hall and I'm really glad to be here to witness it. They allow these young people to do amazing things. Today, John, we're doing the uh, Bronze Duke of Edinburgh Award, and it's just like a little taster for them. They work as a team, they learn leadership qualities, teamwork and qualities, communicating. I'm Inspector Collins, and we coordinate all the youth engagement programmes. Obviously, the DOV is one of those. It's an important tool for us. It's people like Phil uh, and the people who help him and Broad Green School that make DOV work. We've got a great area that we live in. We've just had the Capital Culture Year 2008. We're here to celebrate your achievements. Well, what's happening here is very, very special. The greatest day of our lives. Don't assume that this is what's going on in every school, in every part of the United Kingdom. It is not. This is really special. So if we can support young people to make the right decisions, then obviously it's better for them, better for their families and better for the community. And of course the Duke of Edinburgh Award too. 